Alright, today I'm going to show you a couple of examples on how to subtract numbers which contain decimals. So let's have a look at example 1 then. So we've got 8.27 minus 2.65. So first of all, insert the numbers into the correct columns. So we have 8 units, we have 2 tenths and 7 hundredths, and we're subtracting 2.65, so that's 2 units. 6 tenths and 5 hundredths. So, just need to work this out now. So, if we start on the right hand side, 7 take away 5 is 2. Uh, 2 take away 6, well, we can't work that one out, so we need to borrow 1 from the 8, so I'll make that a 7 and put the 1 there to make it 12. So now we can work out 12 take away 6, which is 6. And our final column we have 7 take away 2, which is 5. And keep the decimal point in line in your answer. So our final answer is 5.62. So let's move on to example 2 then. So this time we have 17 take away 3.41. So with our first number then, this is a whole number, so we've got 1, 10 and 7 units. And our second number, we've got 3 units, 4 tenths and 1 hundredth. With the first number, you might want to write 17 as 17.00. 17 so let's take away the numbers. So if we start on the right hand side, so 0 take away 1 we can't do, so we need to borrow 1 off the 7, so across the 7 out that becomes a 6, pass the 1 to the next column, cross the 10 out that's a 9, pass the 1 to the end column. So 10 take away 1 is 9, 9 take away 4 is 5, 6 take away 3 is 3, and 1 take away nothing is 1. Again, the decimal point will stay in line in your answer. So our final answer is 13.59. Thanks for watching.